Are denominations something that we should be even practicing as a body? My answer, no. No, 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 no. Everyone's one, one body, one head. Let's come together and let's push the gospel of Jesus Christ. Are denominations wrong? Should the body of Christ even have denominations? I'm gonna talk about it. Make sure you watch to the end. Very important. I'm gonna use Bible references, testimony. Um, make sure you watch all the way to the end. And if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell icon for notifications. You already know what time it is. By you guys commenting, liking these videos, subscribing, doing all that, getting the notifications when we post videos and sharing it, we could spread the light of Jesus Christ to the nations. God is good and he's exalting this, this social media the YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, all for his glory. So make sure to follow us on all social media platforms. Same thing, Richard Lorenzo Jr., my government name, go follow on all platforms. So let's get into this. Are denominations something that we should be even practicing as a body? My answer, no, 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 no. Some of you might be saying, well, there's many operations and you know, and many members in one body. Look, let me tell you something. That's cool and that's true. There are different operations, different types of churches. Some churches specialize on worship. Some specialize on evangelism. Some specialize on the prophetic. Some specialize on the pastoral, the apostolic. Yes, the fivefold ministry for today, I, Book of Ephesians. I highly, highly um, recommend the fivefold ministry for every church. But just because the fivefold ministry is in a church, it doesn't mean the operation that they're that they're playing out, that they're actively participating in is gonna be the same as the one down the street. You see, our, our center, we do a lot of outreach. But does that mean that, let's say for example, um, a center down the road, they do a lot, they're, 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 they focus on worship, powerful worship team. They have a school for worship where they teach other worship, uh, other worship teams how to um, increase of the fear of the Lord and the, and the revelation of Jesus Christ and when they worship, it's pure, amen. We don't. We don't have that at our church, a school for that. We still have worship though. Just like that church might still have evangelism, but they might go out maybe once a month. They might not equip people for evangelism. You see what I'm saying? Like that is what this, the scriptures are talking about, different operations. Now, denominations is completely different. Denominations is actually theological beliefs. Like the Baptists, right? They focus on baptism of water, Big time. Pentecostals focus on the day of Pentecost. Even, even the Lutherans, they base their theology off of, you know, Martin Luther. You got the Presbyterians. You got the Catholics. You know, the Catholic Church is extremely divisive, extremely segregated and, and isolated. They believe that you have to follow certain works to be saved. In my opinion, the Catholic Church should not even be part of the body, uh, even considered part of the body of Christ as a Christian. They should be their own their own. They should be Catholics should just be Catholics. They shouldn't even be considered Christians. They believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, but they have so many other people they worship, like Mary, you know, John, Peter, they worship idols. So it's all division, man. There should not even be a non-denominational church. It should just be like, that's it. Like it's understood that we all agree on the 66 books of the Bible. We believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. We believe in the fivefold ministry. We believe in the and you know, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We believe in the baptism of water. We believe that, you know, love covers a multitude of sins. We believe that, you know, discipleship and accountability is important. We believe in worshiping the Lord in spirit and truth. We should all, it should be universal, man. Like the body of Christ should be one. So I'm gonna read some scriptures. In John 17, right? Verse 20, he says, it's a prayer for unity, that they all may be one as though fa Father are in me and I in thee that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. So Jesus, before his crucifixion, crucifixion, prayed not for uniformity, but for unity. I'm gonna say it again. He prayed not for uniformity, but for unity. We must pursue unity in the spirit of Christ's love, even amidst denominational differences. Look at this, Romans chapter 14. Let us not therefore judge one another anymore. But judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an, or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. So Paul encourages believers to refrain from quarreling over non-essential beliefs. We should avoid causing others to stumble by imposing our beliefs and instead prioritize love and acceptance. So the minute you say, 
Baptists are the way to go. No other way. You're wrong. The minute you say it's the Pentecostal church, that's the real church, and every other church is, is, is wrong. You're wrong. The minute you think, if you're not Catholic, you're going to hell. You're wrong. It's everyone's one, one body, one head. Let's come together. We accept everybody, and let's push the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, there's, 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 there's foundational beliefs, man. Look, just because I go to a church and maybe, maybe my brother, maybe my brother believes that, you know, water baptism is essential for salvation, even though I know that's not true. I wouldn't sit there and shun him and be like, hey, go to a Baptist church. You can't be here. No, I would pray for him and love on him. And so the Lord would reveal it to him. Maybe someone comes to the church and they believe, let's say, for instance, the speaking of tongues. You must speak in tongues to be saved. Like some Pentecostals believe. I would, I would say, OK, the speaking of tongues is real, the gift, but you don't need to speak in tongues to be saved. I would pray for them. I wouldn't shun them. I would wait till the Lord reveals it. You see, revelation comes through love, through prayer. My brother cannot catch the revelation unless I pray for him and ask the Father to reveal it. Just like for me, if I haven't caught a revelation on a certain subject, I need prayer. We don't divide because of lack of revelation and theological agreements. We come together even more because of that. And we, and we figure it out together by the power of the Holy Ghost. Look at this, Romans 14, 19. Let us there follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith we may edify another. Instead of focusing on difference, differences, we should seek out common ground and the shared teachings of Christ to build, one, to build each other up. Look at this, Ephesians 4, 1 through 6. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. The emphasis on one and Paul's message is clear. There is unity in our faith in Christ. While denominational practice might, practices might differ, the core of our belief remains the same. Why are we labeling ourselves to be any denomination? Just like, just like the Bible says, some said they were of Paul. Some said they were of Apollos. But Paul was, glad, Paul was glad he baptized none of them. They were idolizing them. You see, there's something called the Azusa Street Revival. If you haven't studied, studied, it, studied it already, and out of the Azusa Street Revival is where a lot of these denominations started. But during that revival, there was no denomination. It was everyone come together. It was Holy Spirit pouring, pouring out upon everybody. Miracles, signs, and wonders. But what happened was is people felt entitled. Oh, my belief is better than your belief. And let me tell you something. Nothing new is under the sun. It's been happening like that for thousands of years since the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. It's been happening like that. Look at the tribes. Yes, there were 12 different tribes, right? But they all had one God that they worshiped and they all came together and they all made sure they made their sacrifices in the temple. They had one, they, they agreed. Yes, they came from different tribes, but they had the same agreement. So again, there might be churches where they focus on worship. Some might focus on the prophetic, the apostolic, on evangelism, the pastoral, on teaching, on this, on that music ministry. Look, as long as we all can say, hey, look, we're all one, though. We have the same Lord and Savior, but I see too much division. Baptists coming up, Pentecostals. Oh, the speaking of tongues is the devil. Pentecostals coming at Baptists. Oh, you don't believe in the, in the gifts, so you're of the devil. That's Pharisees and Sadducees coming at each other. Then you got the other denominations, too, that come at each other, too. It's crazy. We need to take all those denominations off, off of the off of the title of our churches on, on the buildings and off of our websites. If anything, we all need to be non-denominational. <laughs> it's so sad that we have to even have that as a denomination. We should all just be the body of Christ, man. When we get to heaven, the name of your church is not going to matter. When we get to heaven, the, the, your title is not going to matter. It's going to be, what did you do to love others and love God? How did you expand the kingdom of God? God's not going to care that you were the church of Latter-day Saints. Look, at even the church of Latter-day Saints, man, it gets weird. Jehovah's Witnesses, it gets weird. It gets really weird. My brothers and my sisters, denominations are division. We need to all come together. Let the Holy Spirit pour out upon all flesh. That is how revival is going to break out. When we don't care about denominations, everyone just comes together to worship our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That is how we win. Amen. So stop, stop with the denominational division and worship Jesus Christ. God bless you. If this, if this 
video blessed you, I want you to comment down below, you know, what blessed you, and make sure to subscribe again, like the, like the video along with a bunch of other ones, go share it with all your families and family and friends, and make sure to hit the bell icon for notifications. God bless. Hey, what's going on, family? God bless you all. Make sure if you like this video, click that like button. Also, go comment down below what you liked about the video. Click the bell icon for more notifications and go share this video to all your friends and family. Also, there are many accounts impersonating me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I will never ask you for money through WhatsApp. So if you get someone impersonating me with a fake account, make sure to block it and report it. Also, if you'd like to partner with us, click the description down below on the video and you'll see all the ways to partner we appreciate all those who help us expand this vision to the nations partnering with us in prayer and financially we thank you so much and also those who partner with us liking the video commenting down below clicking that bell notification and sharing it to all your friends and family we thank you the gospel is being spread throughout the nations people are getting saved delivered and healed the lord jesus christ is being glorified thank you for all our partners in jesus name